Levinson Kadka is the environment correspondent for the BBC World Service. He's been following how the Amazon forest fires will make the Paris climate target more difficult to achieve. Uh, this is his article, actually. You can view it on the BBC website and app. I got to speak to him about the impact of these fires. The Paris climate target that's keeping the global temperature rise well below two degrees is already quite difficult given that you know the world is on course to between three to five degree rise within the century and then these forests this tropical forests amazon forests these are like they amount to some 20 percent of solutions uh, because they absorb carbon from the atmosphere they also store them and then if you don't cut and chop trees then you kind of avoid emissions like that as well but what's happened is last year there was a report that said that given the deforestation that was already a major challenge in terms of meeting Paris climate target. Now juxtapose that with what's happening right now. Massive fire, record, you know, uh, fire conditions. Uh, NASA says compared, this is the biggest since 2010. So obviously, therefore, scientists are quite, quite worried. But would it be too early to draw any conclusions about climate change when it comes to the Amazon and what's happened with the fires so far? Well, the thing is, yes, if you compare that with the fossil fuel emissions, then definitely uh, forest fires, emissions from them might look a bit smaller. But the thing is, as I said, that target of keeping global temperature rise well below two degrees, it's already so difficult. So all these things add up, what you are doing with your forests, with your fossil fuels or agriculture, all these things add up. And the fact that forests are regarded, especially tropical forests are regarded as effective weapon in terms of storing those carbon that's already there in the atmosphere. That's why it's being valued. That's why there's this worry that it might spread and then it could just get out of control. And I know you've been taking a look at other parts of the world as well. Put all of this in context for us. So yes, I mean, a few days back, Indonesia was really big, but then authorities are now are saying that it's more or less, not totally, but more or less controlled. So that's a bit of a good news there. Siberia is still a big thing. It's a huge thing. And uh, we still are looking for calculations. What is at least from Amazon, we have got rough calculations like 200 plus megatons of emissions until last week. What happened in Siberia is actually yet to be calculated, given that the fire there will melt the permafrost in Arctic and permafrost melting means it will release methane gases. Methane gases are more potent than carbon dioxide CO2 emissions, which is going to do more, which is going to do more damages in terms of climate change.